loves it's your girl kale styles here and today's video is going to be a review on some new foundation and concealer that i'm trying um i didn't see too many reviews for this foundation for like women of color so i decided to go ahead and do the review for it so the foundation and concealer that i'm going to be reviewing today is the foundation and concealer by urban decay the naked skin foundation and concealer right here and it is the Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid um, Foundation, as well as a concealer. But the concealer is Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Okay, and both of them say that they are light diffusing and paraben free, which is really, really good for people who have um, acne prone skin, such as I. So I decided to pick this up. Um, I got this from Sephora. I believe the foundation was 39 and then the concealer was 28 so the concealer is a $28 for a concealer okay because <laughs> I did it for the NARS so I'm, I'm the NARS concealer so I guess this wouldn't be bad either so I got it in the shade 9.0 and this is what it looks like it just has a silver top clear packaging with the words on the front and like I said I got it in the shade 9.0 and it also has a pump so and it has the words on the front of course and the applicator is just a wand and this is the shade of it so you guys can see a better look of the shade so the first thing I want to say about the foundation is the packaging. I really do like the packaging. To me, it's nice and sturdy. It does have a pump right here. And just a tip for anybody who has like that type of like thing that annoys them is when, you know, from you use a pump, sometimes you get the foundation on a pump. I just take, um, usually when I do my makeup, I just take like a swab that I had used to clean off my face before I apply my makeup. And I just use that to keep the pump clean. Um, I'm not going to say that this is a messy pump because it's not really a messy pump, but it's just one of my pet peeves where I just have to keep it clean. Um, this is plastic, of course. All of this is plastic. Um, the outside of it, the color that's showing on the outside is very true to what's inside. You know how sometimes, you know, it can be a little bit different with some foundations Asian when choosing your shade. I'm a MAC NC45 and I bought the shade 9.0. The 8 looked like looks looked like it would be able to work for me, but I did the 9.0 just because for the simple fact that it's about to be summer and I can still get away with it before I even have a tan. So I decided to just go with the 9.0 um, foundation. Another thing about this foundation is it is it claims to be super lightweight, that it's supposed to be lightweight, and I totally agree. Um, I don't really feel any, you know, feel like that foundation phase where you kind of feel like it's foundation on. I don't feel that at all. And when it says that it is a liquid makeup, this foundation is very liquidy. Um, I would not say, um, if you pay attention to the demo at the end of the video, I don't know if I'm going to put it at the end or the beginning, but, um... I tried to apply it with a brush and a beauty blender. I didn't really care for how it came out with the brush. I felt like I was going to use way more product with the brush than if I would just use my beauty blender. So another thing about the foundation, even though this foundation is weightless, for me, if you look at the beginning of the video, you know that it has um, a lot of um, scarring from acne. This covered it up. I didn't use like multiple layers or anything like that. I went ahead and just did the one layer all over my face and it covered it up and I also have the naked the concealer the matching concealer and like I said it was in the shade dark neutral and this is what it looks like the one thing about this concealer is if you have allergies like I do um, I really can't use bottom um, eyelash mascara because I have allergies my eyes water and stuff like that so I will have to use a waterproof one but honestly, I haven't found one that doesn't sting either if it's waterproof and I do tear up it kind of and I go to like wipe my eye or something. It stings even though it won't move. So I just don't bother to put it on there at all. With this concealer, if you have allergies, 
this isn't waterproof it doesn't claim to be waterproof or anything like that but once a tear hits this like it did during when i was doing my makeup i have to say if you have allergies and your eyes water a lot this foundation i mean this is gonna this concealer is gonna start to crease and when i say crease crease badly where it's super noticeable so with the foundation you, i don't think you have to set it i didn't set it at all today um when i wore it and it did really good um but you definitely have to set this concealer definitely give this foundation a thumbs up um especially for acne prone skin and covering scars depending on your scars like every person it would depend on how much you have to use but if you have like the same amount of scars the same type of scarring that I have then I would definitely say one coat is good enough for this one thing I have to say about the shade range it seems like when it gets to deeper tones the undertones get really red so I want you guys to be very careful when you're picking this foundation um it tend it does it gets redder and redder the darker um the deeper the foundation gets so just be aware of that when purchasing this I give this foundation and concealer both thumbs up to go ahead and use it for acne prone skin it didn't break me out or anything like that the color match i would have to say as far as um the foundations that i have tried like in sephora and also like that in a long time i will have to say this is one of the best matches for me um you guys know that i did if you don't know i did a review months months back maybe like in december or something like that of the kat von d foundation and that was red as well on me and i had to mix two shades i don't feel like this is that bad where i would have to mix two shades so um definitely if you're nc45 then go for 9.0 so guys if you want to see how i apply this foundation then go ahead and stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>